Welcome to Dream by Design with Melissa Banks, where women share their dreams, struggles, and successes, how they were able to persevere despite the fear and create the life they want and deserve. If you're looking for inspiration to move you past where you normally would stop, then this is the show for you. Here's your host, Melissa Banks. Welcome to Dream by Design with Melissa Banks. I'm excited you could be with us today. I'm your host, Melissa Banks. Today, we have another amazing woman to share her journey with us and how she was able to keep going despite the circumstances. Our guest today is Vadana Marie. Vadana is an author, speaker, pastor, and life coach. Welcome, Vadana, to the show. Thank you so much, Melissa. It's an honor to be here with you and all of your guests on today. Well, thank you again, and I'm so excited to talk to you, LaDonna. I mean, I have just been watching you and all of your great success, and congratulations to you on everything. I couldn't begin to start listing it, but it's just so wonderful to see um, the success that you've had. But I would like to ask you how you feel when you get recognized and to see your hard work to pay off and recognized in the way that it has been. Well, you know, thank you so much. That is a wonderful question. Um, I'm always excited when what God has put me on this earth to do when it goes forth and people lives are impacted by it. And so for the honors, for the different um, places that I've been, the different people that I've been able to speak with, the books that I've written, for me it's just an honor, Melissa, because what I was chosen to do to empower people, motivate them, and impact their lives is what I, I'm doing. And it makes me know every day that I'm on the right track. And so I'm humble, you know, for every award. I'm humble every time I, you know, do a book. And it's just it's very humbling and a great um, feeling for me because I know the person on the other side, um, their lives are being changed by what they read and they're being able to be restored, and they're being able to stand up for who they have been created to be in this earth. Absolutely. Madonna, we've spoken before, and I've heard you say that your purpose is to empower and encourage others in overcoming their obstacles, and that's what this show is really all about. So share with us some ways that that you do, do that. Well, throughout my um, throughout my book, there's an encouraging message that, you know, no matter where you are and where life may find you at, because we all know that things are going to happen in circumstances. And so with the books that I write, um, how the Holy, the Holy Spirit has me to write is we meet people where they are, you know, in whatever situation, relationship, family, if it's personal development, um, life skills that they need. But then we bring them to a place of where, you know, they can be when they put in the work and the growth and the self-love and the um, self-worth and the the development that they they put, you know, put together to make it to the next point. And so with my books and then oftentimes I'm asked to speak, you know, at different conferences or retreats and summits or out to school. So with the messages that I, you know, speak to them about, you know, saying being, you know, authentically who you were created to be and loving yourself. My tagline for my business, LaDonna Marie Books, is discover the champion in you. And so I often help people to, to see those those familiar but hidden jewels that are inside of them that they may not recognize, but they're there. And as they're able to discover the champion, they're able to show up in, in this world as their most authentic self. And sometimes it takes another person to help you shine the light on something that to you you're familiar with, but to the world they would be missing out on your presence and your existence if you did not show up. Wow, that is huge right there. And recently we, uh, I was in a conversation about loving yourself and how, how once you get to that place that you can love yourself and see the value in yourself, then you're able to open up and recognize what you have to offer to the world and to other people, and then you can actually uh, do what you were destined to do. So that's really powerful. But, you know, LaDonna, I have to ask you um, about an appearance you did recently uh, on TV. Tell us about your first TV appearance and how that felt. Oh, well, this is amazing. I'm so excited. Um 
this experience on the Word Network was a dream come true. Even though I've been on other um, television, you know, uh, broadcasts, but the Word Network uh, was wonderful because it put me in the homes of many people around the world, and being able to share the message that God had given me as such a young child. And so for me, it was a dream come true. It was me saying, thank you, God, for allowing me to continue on this purpose to be um, who you created me to be and to speak life into others and to encourage them uh, to be who you created them to be and to love themselves. And so being on the Word Network, when I was sitting there, even in the studio as we recorded, I was often reminded just for myself that I was born to this. I said that in my mind as we were doing that interview. I said I was born Mm -hmm. for this. This moment has been what I have been moving towards all of my life. When I was speaking in schools, when I was going out to different places from state to state, and now I have the opportunity to sit and be on television and speak in the homes of others and speak into the lives and let them know how I've overcame my, uh, you know, attempting to commit suicide at the age of 14. But now here I am, um, thankful that 25 years, 26 years, now I'm a survivor and I'm moving into everything that God had planned for me before I was born. And so being able to share that message um, Melissa, I was just so amazed. I'm, I'm still in awe of God because I just felt so at home. I felt like this is where I'm, I'm meant to be because I want to make the greatest impact. I always told the Lord, if I could, just, you know, impact the people that you called to me to hear my story so that they can change the trajectory of their life. So I was very thankful to be on the Word Network. It was an amazing experience. Wow, LaDonna, I'm just sitting here as as you're talking about the biggest thing, one of the things you said that will stick with me is I was born for this. This is the moment that I went through everything and came through it was the moment that I was supposed yes. to be at. I'm living the moment. That is amazing. Thank you for sharing that with yes. us. You're so welcome. If you're just joining us, you're listening to Dream by Design with Melissa Banks, and today our guest is LaDonna Marie, author, pastor, speaker, and life coach. No, LaDonna, no journey comes without some challenges. I just believe it's how you face those challenges. So as, as you go through your entrepreneur career as a female, have you faced some challenges along the way, and how do you overcome them? Well, you know, Melissa, yes, we all share our challenges. I've, I've experienced my fair share. Um, one of the biggest things for me is, you know what I'm saying, uh, not having a team. Um, even as an entrepreneur, mm-hmm. um, you know, moving and checking and going into different places and wanting to make the biggest and largest impact, you know, the vision that God has given me is so large so big and my heart just wants to do everything and sometimes that not having a team for me um you know it 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 has me to kind of step back and and look at you know saying where I'm going and what I'm doing and so that's one of the things that I've had to navigate you know through for a while but the 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 good thing about me and the way that God has always made me is that I love to give myself goals and quarterly goals and different things that I know that I can accomplish, you know what I'm saying, that with, with, the, with the resources that I have. And so I don't try to ever put too much on me that I can't still show up as an amazing mom, still show up in my workplace, still show up as an entrepreneur when I go out or any radio or television opportunity that I have. And so learning how to, how to, schedule and, you know, jot down my to-do list and, and, and check them off and cross the list off. Mm-hmm. Those have been things, just that basic organization of my life and my calendar. I live by writing things down, setting dates and deadlines, um, giving myself grace sometimes if I may not make a deadline, but know that mm-hmm. I still have time and opportunity to get it done. And also utilizing the help that I have, not being afraid to ask someone to help me or to, you know, um, partner or collaborate uh, with different people that maybe we may be doing the same thing, but we have two, you know, two different ways, and we just need to collaborate to get it done together as a team. And so those are just some things in the scope of life 
that I've had to go through. But I know that um, as I continue on, team will climb. Um, more people will, will buy into you know, what I'm doing, and I'll be able to have the capacity to add people on uh, to my company so that we can continue to grow and continue to impact. Well, thank you for that. That was really great because that helps so many people because as an entrepreneur, I've been an entrepreneur for 25 years, and I have experienced a, a lot of starting teams, training them, losing them, starting them again. So, so I think that so many people can resonate with that particular challenge. But one of the things that you said was, was organization, realizing what you can do, and giving yourself grace when you fall short and keep going. That is amazing, and that is, that's going to help so many of us as entrepreneurs get over that challenge because so many of us face it even more so today than, than before today. I did want to talk, yeah. Donna, a little bit about your, uh, your nonprofit planning Positive Seeds. Talk to us about it. What is it? What's the inspiration behind it? Wow, thank you so much. I love Planting Positive Seeds. I love everything I've been given to do on this earth, but Planting Positive Seeds is a nonprofit uh, set out and established in 2013 to empower uh, women, young girls, and, you know, adults um, to help them to maneuver through life, uh, giving them the resiliency skills that they need, teaching them um, how to be empowered and how to navigate through life. And um, the nonprofit started, like, like I said, back in 2013, um, God told me that I would have a conference. It would be named Planet Positive Seeds, and um, I would be helping. And so I started out just teaching them different, um, you know, life skills, um, also incorporating things out of the Bible, you know, being that I'm in ministry, helping them to understand who, who they are and who they are. Um, and helping them on their way. Um, the, the nonprofit has about six different initiatives. We do local and global outreaches that's, you know, giving as far as Africa and also in my local town here in Mississippi. Um, we have a rebuild, Rebuilding Fragments mentoring group for teens and also adults where we do summit and um, retreats during the summer or sometimes in the, in, in the latter part of the year. We do conferences. Um, we also have a scholarship fund for girls graduated from high school going into college that get a $500 book scholarship um, based on the criteria that we set for our uh, scholarship just to help them and let them know someone cares. Uh, being that I'm a survivor of suicide, we have a suicide prevention and awareness key where we have individuals that come in and they speak and talk to um, the young girls or those who are listening, because most times the young girls bring their parents. We do Zoom, and we just talk about things to help them to know that they're not alone and to give them some tools and resources. Um, our newly implemented um, initiative is the toy drive. We've done an annual toy drive now for two years where we give back to low-income and no-income families, to moms who uh, would like to just show love and care to their children at Christmas time. I was one of those moms who had you know, an issue a long time ago when I was when I lost my job. And so I know the need of wanting to provide or wanting to do, and you may have some issues. And so planting positive seeds is here to plant positive seeds in the lives of others. And that's the way we do it, by giving and serving and helping those in the community and even those that are globally. Wow, that's amazing. We're going to give you an opportunity at the end to make sure um... – our audience know how to stay connected with you so they can connect it to that positive uh, environment that you, you're doing there. And I just love it. Thank you so much. Okay, Lizana, you have Thank several you. books out. You empower people through your books, through your speaking. But when did you know that you wanted to use the written word to empower and encourage people? That's a great question. It all started, Melissa, back when I was, 14. It started when I was 14. Um, that moment, that's when I was going through that, you know, uh, attempting to commit suicide. And um, I was having a rough, rough pack. And I had an encounter with the Lord. And at that time, he said that the words that I give you, I'm going to heal you. But the words that I give you are going to help me to heal others. And so it's just like he gave me the gift of writing I was. I then started to just write down whatever you know he had downloaded to me. It was, you know, at the time it was started off being poems, 
And so they were short poems that were head on to whatever the situation could be, if you were happy, if you were sad, if you were trying to overcome a situation. So I would write those down, and then I began to share them with others. And many, many times, people that read them, it resonated so with them within their soul. They could see themselves in the poem. They had their own aha moment. And I love the way that God always had me to write because it wasn't me telling them how to feel, but it was them identifying and then being able to move forward with what the information that they had gained. And so very early on, I wanted to help to heal. I wanted to help to encourage. You know, this has been everything about my life, the buildup of who I was created to be, because even when I was going through, even though God said that he was going to heal me, I still wasn't 100% healed. I still had to heal and go through those situations so that I could be able to give the experience and give the, the, the testimony of I've overcame this so that they can see she's not just talking about something, but, hey, she's experienced some of these things in her life as well. And so it started back when I was about 14, and now I, I'm so happy that over the years of my life, I've now uh, to date have published 13 books of my own, and I have many, many co-author books that I've done out there with other people, maybe totaling up to now maybe 15. And so I'm very humbled that I love to write and encourage and that people all over the world could pick them up and get that same encouragement today um, that, that that I felt and I wanted to pour into them when I was younger. Wow, that is amazing. Well, Adana, it's 2023. You, you've accomplished a lot, 13 books. Wow, that's that's awesome. But tell us, what's next for you? What What does 2023 look like for you? So 2023 uh, looks like for me, I've been saying for a while, and I'm going to uh, make sure that I, I get it accomplished in this year, is I I want to do a, a play. Um, I started writing a play um, a while ago, maybe in 2016, and I put it to the side, and I want to um, dive deeper into my characters and dive deeper into that. I want to actually uh, work on the play. And um, myself and uh, my partner, um, we have a publishing company called New Destiny Life Publishing. And so I've, I've become more a publisher in this season um, as well. And so those are two new hats um, that I want to add um, to all of the things that LaDonna Marie does and shares with the world. And I'm sure with you, that you will be able to do that. Thank you. We look forward to seeing that play coming. So at this moment, LaDonna, I would love for you to just share some words of encouragement to our audience that will encourage them to keep going despite the circumstances. Yes. So to all of you all out there, I know that you may be going through your own situations in life, and I know sometimes things may seem to be hard, but I want to encourage you that you matter and that you were born for a purpose. And I want you to know that each and every day that you awaken, there's another chance and another time for you to be the best version of who you were created to be. So start to hold your head up. You can stick your chest out. You look in that mirror and you say that I am worthy, I am great, I am loved, and I am successful. So you speak to yourself in the present tense so that you will walk and become who you've been created to be each and every day of your life. Know that you are loved. If no one tells you or have told you, know that you are loved. Wow. Thank you so much, LaDonna. And thank you for being here today. Let our audience know how they can stay connected to you. Awesome. So you can connect with me um, on social media under LaDonna Memory Books. Um, That's my business page. All of my books will be there. Uh, PlantingPositiveSeeds.com, that's my nonprofit. You can go over there and see all of the things I may have forgotten to mention. You can go over there and see what we've been doing for the last nine years. Um, also, you can connect with me uh, on social media under LaDonna Marie. You'll see my page. You can follow me. Uh, and on social media under uh, Instagram, I am LaDonna Marie underscore but also stay tuned and go by my website, subscribe, you can get all the updates, and that's www.ladonnamarie.org. 
and just subscribe when you get to the website. And again, I just want to thank you, Melissa, for this opportunity. Wow. Well, thank you to our guest, LaDonna Marie, for being here today. And thank you to our audience for tuning in to today's edition of Dream by Design. I'm your host, Melissa Banks, saying all your dreams are possible. Believe in yourself, work hard, and don't quit. Until next time, thank you for choosing Dream by Design with Melissa Banks. Enjoy your day.